Welcome to the March 4th edition of the Braidwood Beat. Today, we finish our series with local EYPC group Reality Checks as they question the mayor on city improvements and give some suggestions of their own. In the last four years, we've annexed hundreds of acres of land, uh, well over 400. We've, we've uh, did, set aside areas for industry, for business. We've went out and found businesses to come to our community to generate sales tax, property tax. Uh, whenever somebody generates sales tax and property tax, that helps offset the taxes that the residents pay for their houses. So uh, because those type of things don't use the services as much as the residents do. In other words, uh, uh, just as an example, the, uh, a business isn't likely to send anybody to school, so it doesn't put any burden on your schools as far as coming up with money to add more students. So mm -hmm. since that helps the schools out of these businesses and industry, and that's something we really need to look at in our town because we've got... Uh, half of our school budget just about comes from the nuclear power plant. Mm -hmm. And if something ever happened to that, we'd really be hurting for money. So we got to be careful with that. We've also uh, we fixed up a lot of roads. There was roads that were almost impassable that we fixed over in uh, towns of Braidwood, for instance. Um, we had other issues in town. The uh, were things with just there's a lot of little things just cleaning up things public property was a mess uh, our own property that we owned had junk tires on it and railroad ties and bricks and things like that and it just made the town look run down and if you're trying to get a business to move to your town the people that own the business come to your town and they look at it and they're like why do I want to run move to this place it's all run down and, and nasty you know so we tried to clean up some of that stuff and do things like that to help bring business to our town. And I think if you go down Main Street through the town and that, you can see a difference. I mean, we've got the little uh, building there at the Route 66 Park where you guys can meet with Pete and things like that. Now that we didn't have, we got the band shell there. What do you see or what do you want to see in your town? Now, think hard. We don't need you to tell us that this bad smell coming out of the sewer plant should <laughs> smell like french fries. <laughs> no, actually, I agree with you on the business aspect. We have a lot of uh, area near 55 where it could probably be open to business and would probably get a large amount of business and would lower taxes, increase you know standards of living or in that area, things along those lines. So I've always kind of wanted to see businesses grow around there. You stole my answer. <laughs> um, mostly just more things for us to do because I feel like if we had more things to do around here, then we wouldn't turn to like drugs or like alcohol or anything. So. Okay. When you say more like, things. Um, I used to live in Morris, and I okay. know that they did this thing. They had this up for a little while, but they took it down I, a few years back, I think. But they had, like, a teenager's club where they would just go, and, like, it's kind of like a prom, but they would go, they'd do it, like, every Friday or right. once a week or once a month or something, and it was really cool. So, we just had, stuff like that. We had a uh, thing like that when I was a kid. It was called Lighted Schoolhouse where we went on Friday nights. And we had a community center in the town I lived in. Mm -hmm. That was kind of a neat thing to have. I'd like to have a community center in this town. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how we would pay for it yet, but it's it's a dream of mine, too. Yeah. So that's good. I like that. I guess uh, basically on the same concept with a little bit more to do. What kind of things would you want to be able to do? Just give me some ideas. What, what might you want to do? Like a mall or something, probably. Or like not here, like but like skating. if there was a mall nearby, that'd be a good place for people to go. Mm -hmm. Skating, yeah, that'd be. Yeah, awesome. I see. This, I see. There's a lot of empty lots. Like so roller would... skating. Or... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, or even ice skating. Another thing that I would like, but this is kind of like not really on the government's part, is if uh, voters were a bit more 
knowledgeable about what they were voting. Mm. Because sometimes you just hear people say that they're voting because they like someone's mustache or something. I, mm-hmm. I, I agree that, uh, <laughs> that that's... I wish people would uh, would vote for the reasons that the, that you just said. I just think that uh, not... It shouldn't be just a popularity contest. It should be about who's best qualified to do what you want to see done. Thanks to Reality Checks and the mayor for your input. Community involvement and feedback is key to a strong city. And when it starts with our kids, we ensure that the city will continue to improve for years. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.